If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. Now, one thing I can't stress enough is if you're new to Madden, you need to be in the lab practicing those adjustments, all right? You need to know what vertical hooks do, hook curls do. You need to know what curl flats do, what zone drops do. You need to learn all that stuff if you want to compete at a higher level. You want to win more games? Understanding your defense is probably the most important aspect of the game. Offense is cool. Anyone can run offense. Like today, I'm going to show you guys a run play that you can be using consistently. And it's one of those run plays that I love to use all the time. But like I said, practicing those defensive adjustments, even if you've been playing Madden 22, maybe there's something that you struggle with, bro. Now is the time. Use the dead downtime in Madden to really figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So H-Wing from the Giants, make sure you guys drop a like, become a member if you're new, you want access to the concept-based stuff, the advanced schemes and stuff like that. It's gonna work in Madden 23 when it drops because like I said, it's concept-based, so everything works. It's always gonna work. It's how they beat players in real football and stuff like that, you know what I mean? H-Wing, check this out. The name of the player, actually, matter of fact, make sure you put your fastest running back. So I got Jones, you want your fastest. Madden is the game of speed. Now we have halfback power. Oh, that's the play we're gonna talk about right now, but there's other ones in this formation. If I have time, I'll go over them. We'll go ahead and just do random defense because power O in itself is just an awesome play, okay? Like I, you could just run the damn play stock. Now what I like to do sometimes is I like to flip the play once or twice, okay? Just to throw the opponent off, see what he's doing, you know? Probably running it to the weak side. Now right here, there's something that I wanna, if you're newer to the channel, I'm gonna explain something to you guys. I'm gonna run power O this way, okay? Boom, we get mad yards. Uh, forward falling animations are a thing in this game. Now you have a lot more success if you run power O to the weak side. So you see I'm on the right hash, running it to the right side, you're probably gonna have more, uh, what do you call it? More success, more yards, more consistency, rather than like flipping the play. Now this is past defense, rather than flipping the play and running it this way. Now you see how everybody's loaded to the left side on this play? What you can do is flick the stick to the right and you can check and see if someone comes across the field with you. Okay, two people. You see that right there? Two people actually came across the field, so that's not good. Boom, we'll go ahead and go back, and we'll keep the arrow to the right, and we can take our chances with the numbers. You see how it's loaded to the left? We don't wanna challenge that. We wanna take our chances with two. Hopefully these guys can hold the block, and we wanna run this way with it. Find the gaps and go that way. Now, you can bust for touchdowns. I bust for a lot of touchdowns using power O's, especially the one out of goal line. Now, what you can do also, like you see a defense like this, it's offset. You wanna run this probably stock. Boom, but one thing that I notice a lot too with linebackers is if they're offset to the left, they have a better chance of pursuing you across the field. So be careful with that, this is pass defense. When you see someone like this, you're probably not gonna see it against better players, but if you see this, just run it up the middle of the field. You don't really have to sit there wasting your time running what I'm telling you. Bro, my man can't even hold the block. But you see what I'm saying? Sometimes those pass defenses do shed. I remember I played in a game where a guy ran a big dime 146 against my goal line power O, Everybody pancaked but one guy, and that one guy auto shed it and hit me for a loss. Actually, it wasn't a loss. I, I think I got like no yards. So right here, this defense right here, the power O, like I said, the power O already is 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 pretty damn consistent. If you can get to the outside, man. But these guys are this is a good defense right here. This isn't a, like a trash defense. Baker and them are good. Again, just running it stock against the weak side is probably going to help you. Look, already five yards that fast, man. Running this damn play. That's how unfortunate it is. Now, like I said, you want to flip this left, right, left, right, just flipping it, messing with your opponent. Uh, you can flip the stick to the right, bring someone across from left to right. You see how no one moved, and we can take our chances back to the weak side, running this play, find the gaps, take off to the middle, and get our yards, bro. Now, it's pass defense. Obviously, you're going to get a lot of yards against a weak box, but sometimes you don't. Like right here, watch. I'm going to try it and watch me get auto shedded. Here we go. Oh, oh no, never mind. Well, Nice speed. Yeah, 3 deep. No one's going to run 3 deep on you, but I just wanted to see if anyone would auto shed. So Power O is a play that's awesome already. Now, it, when you see the double A gap, and if you're on defense and someone's running a lot of Power O on you, what you should do on that defensive end is spread the linebackers. So those two linebackers that are sitting in the gaps, they back up. For some odd reason, when you do that from double A gap, it helps with the run game. Now, right here is probably not going to help with the ground. But then again, we're going against a really good defense, but if you can pick that up, bro, this is a touchdown. Oh, never mind. Unless I could juke him. Bro, this guy came screaming across the field. But it happens. That's what happens. So 
That's the play. That's halfback power. Oh, let's look at a pass play that's pretty good in here too, bro. This one is going to be, if I can find it, the PA counter shot. Now, I will look at the one play tutty variations of this one, but for the most part, bro, you want to run the play stock. So you fake the handoff like and you're going to run it, boom, and then you come across the field. Tanya and I can low ball this underneath the person that's on him. You don't want to throw that regular when you're playing against man defense. You want to throw that underneath. You want to low ball that. So putting B on a real drag, leaving your play action, boom, like this. Low ball that if you want to throw it to Tanya. Because no one can pick that off when you low ball it. Especially if it gets a good tight end that can catch. Now, if you have a bum tight end that's like a 60, 70 overall, don't do that. At least allow him to be a little bit better, especially with speed. So right here... You'll have the drag or you'll have this uh, crossing route end zone defense and you fake your opponent out. Like, like I said, in the next videos, I'll talk about different concepts that you can use from the H wing to make it a little bit better. You see a pass defense, you run the ISO, you go up the middle. Now you can tell pass defenses because they just look weak. All right, you have the big nine, one, four, six, you have more defensive backs on the field than linebackers. When you see that, you can, you can uh, initiate the run, the ISOs and stuff like that. So again, right here, just putting B on a drag, very simple run play i mean pass play to run you have your drag or you have a a is typically wide open and if the user sells out on the run game it's going to be hell for them to keep up with the crossing route now i'm not saying they can't but it, it's hell okay so we can flip the play we even go to the weak side so what you want to do here is just streaking x drag b we want to force any zone routes like an outside third or a quarter to respect the x route so when you're running it on the weak side make sure you streak x and then drag uh the b route boom and then you'll have this guy again like i said easy money uh the way you're going to stop that is you can either run the mad defense you can run mad defense with uh, uh cloud flats on your safety set to 20. you can run a cover three mabel with your curl flat set to five and your cloud flat set to 20 25. that's how you put it into that running crossing routes across the field on one particular side now running double mabels leaves your seam routes open so be careful when you're running your defenses try to gauge your opponent see what they like to do don't let them just bully you in a bully session you know what i mean um but and don't forget about iso you see a defense you want to just blend it all in just run it right up the middle the iso plays are some of the best plays and what it's going to do as well running the iso it's going to force your opponent to pinch the defense when he pinches the defense that's when you come back to the power o's and you run it outside so you see what i'm saying uh i'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video but that's how you start to manipulate your opponents man it's very simple make sure you guys drop a like love you guys man peace